Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Metacom Toy Mafex, 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 uh, the X-Men Phoenix, Jean Grey. So uh, this one just dropped. It is available on Big Bad Toy Store. So big shout out and thank you to them for sending it my way. Um, it's in stock right now. It's a link in the video description below. I will go through um, and check out Jean Grey, the Phoenix, and see how it's all about. I have a couple of Mafex comic figures. I have X-Force Deadpool and X-Force Wolverine, so I will compare it with that. But the big comparison will be with the Marvel Legends version. So let's go ahead and get uh, take a look at the box, and then we'll get Jean Grey out of there. We'll do the comparisons with other Mafex figures, and then we'll see how it looks um, compared to the Marvel Legends. Oh, and I have comic Spider-Man's. I'll do I'll do that. So looking at the box, we get some artwork of the Phoenix there, looking really cool. We got X Men there, Phoenix. It is number two one eight two eighteen, and the Mafex line. Get a look at the figure there. Here on the back of the package, you can see we have three different heads, and you have the figure and everything. So we're going to take a look. So again, in stock right now, Big Bad Toy Store. Let's get into it and see the review and comparison. Okay, so here is the Jean Grey figure out of the package, and it is a really good one. It's got some cool swappable things like the belt sash. You can actually have the swap out, so you can actually have it like flowing in the wind, which is cool. The fact that we get three head sculpts, which is cool. The paint is absolutely perfect on this figure. So let's go ahead and get in for a closer look so we can take, um, so you guys can see how, how good it is. Okay, so I had to do away with the red background because her hair is like super bright red, so it wasn't really gonna work out. But here for a closer look, I already swapped out one of the heads so you guys could see. In total, as far as the accessories, we get the two sashes, the one that's just hanging down uh, for the regular, and then the wind blowing, and I'll show you guys how to swap that out. We always get a Mafex stand with every figure um, there as well. There's nothing special going on with those stands. Uh, we get a pair of, whoops, we get a pair of fists there and then we have a couple of different like hands that are kind of spread out so the super wide spread out hands there uh we get these ones where they're kind of like inward these are kind of more gesturing hands as you could see there um and then we kind of have the two relaxed hands so here is one of them uh i seem to have oh here it is so here we have these two relaxed hands so one two three four sets of hands total uh we get three different head sculpts so we're going to go uh go through each of the head sculpts so we have this one here you could yeah, this one here the hair um as you can see is quite long and kind of really goes down kind of far there's some orange highlights kind of throughout it, um, which is kind of a nice touch in there. So it doesn't give us a, like a real fire type effect like with translucent hair or anything like that. But it does give it a nice look when you kind of kind of see some of that orange um, on there. The hair is really soft too, by the way. Like it's really soft. I mean, it's not, you can't form it or anything. Um, and it's still going to get in the way. You know, she can't look up obviously. But um, again, it is, it is pretty soft. So we have this head sculpt here. Um, just kind of straight face, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to pop that off. We get the screaming head sculpt. This hair is much more curly. Uh, so this one, she's kind of screaming. As you can see there, her mouth is open, and that looks pretty good. Looking at the hair, we get some more of the orange highlights in certain areas, which looks good. Again, kind of brings out a little bit of a fire-type look uh, to the phoenix, so that's kind of nice. But the hair is, like, curled up and kind of over draping over her shoulders there. So that one's good. Uh, my favorite is the windswept one where her eyes are kind of whited out too. So this is more Phoenix Force, like using her powers uh, type of deal. Um, and this one uh, looks really good. Make sure that head is on that neck properly there. Um, and again, the wind swept, as you could see, it flowing over to her right. She has a little bit of hair draped over uh, her right shoulder there. And that looks good. Again, we get the same orange highlights in there and that all looks all good. There, and again, fairly soft. It's not going to break or anything, but you do want to be careful with it. Uh, but this one is my favorite head sculpt. I really like the whited out eyes. Uh, they look really good. The paint uh, on each of these heads is, is also great. They did a great job. Um, as you can see, I have no paint defects, no paint errors, nothing like that uh, throughout any of the figure too. So not that there's a whole lot of paint. You know, we get a lot of gold in there. So her boots are all gold uh, there. Uh, the oh, gloves are all gold and they're sculpted on there. So like the right here where the green and the gold meet, that is sculpted on there. Same with the boots there, uh, which some people were telling me that the, they're not boots. They're just part of her bodysuit. That's why the Legends is painted and not sculpted when, you know, the, the Warbird figure had the sculpt boots like they could have used um people said that it's it's they're tights it's just part of the design not necessarily boots this look here tells me that they, they are boots <laughs> right that, that's sculpted on there um and so to me it looks like a boot maybe i'm wrong 
Um, you get, we can kind of debate that on what you guys think and kind of how that goes. But um, just so you know, that's kind of how it is. The rest of the figure, not a lot else going on. Black triangle there. Uh, the Phoenix logo does look good. Painted very, very nicely. Not a single paint issue or anything like that on my figure. Uh, so just came out looking really, really, really nice. So there we go. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation, which is very, very good. Okay, so articulation for the Mafex Phoenix figure. She can't really look up because her hair is long, so that seems it's kind of be the trend when it comes to action, any type of action figure, whether it's Marvel Legends or, you know, high price import figures. She just can't look up. She can look a little bit down, as you can see there, not a huge amount. You can rotate the head, but the hair, depending on which figure, which head sculpt you're using, you know, it's going to kind of vary on how much swivel you can really get out of it. The arm you can get to go uh, straight on out and up a little bit. You get a full rotation. Um, in that shoulder there is a butterfly joint so you can actually get the arm to go back um, a little bit there's not a huge amount going back but again you do get some as you can see kind of straight position and then kind of back there in terms of cross body forward not a huge amount but there is a little bit in there you got an upper bicep swivel in there you get a double jointed pinless elbow gives you that much bend there at the elbow so that is quite nice wrist swivel and they hinge they are on a ball joint so you can hinge them around whichever way you need them to be um, we have a diaphragm cut on here so jean and it's going to be hard because she also has a ball joint at the waist so it's hard to kind of do one and not the other so if you used if you try to use like just the diaphragm and not the ball joint you're not going to get a whole lot of motion so really they're going to work in tandem so she can tilt uh, Jean Grey to her left that much that is an incredible amount there's not really any gap in there which is good so yeah the sash covers a little bit but there's really no gap so it's just that good um, and then tilting to the right as you can see there tilts very far to the right really not a whole lot of gap very very little so again that is just really nice when we have that she can go back that far a little bit of gap in there but that sash is is going to cover it up which is quite nice and then coming forward not a crazy amount but that's more than you would see with any domestic figure on a female figure at least you know with marvel legends specifically when it comes to these characters so uh, that is a good amount there you get a swivel at that waist that ball joint waist you could swivel a tiny tiny bit at that diaphragm cut but really you're going to use it all at the swivel there uh, is drop down hips so they don't drop far but as you can see you can drop down that much there um, and then legs go out that far apart so she could do the full splits which is awesome she can kick so unbelievably far it's kind of ridiculous because this hip piece is more of a rubber piece so as you can see it kind of creases and bends in there with it which is quite nice to allow her to kick uh, supernaturally high up which is kind of crazy the leg goes back um, quite a bit as you can see there uh let's see you kind of have to work that leg sometimes back into that hip so just be aware of that there's not a thigh swivel mafex figures don't really have that you do get some turn within the leg at the hip though so just to be aware of that so not a full swivel but you get a little bit of turn in there uh double jointed knee nice bend there at the knee nice gold uh joints in there for the elbows as well as the knees the ankles however didn't quite get the gold as you get a yellow plastic in there so no shine at those ankles but they're there so you can hinge the foot up quite a bit you can hinge it down you could swivel at the foot uh, you have toe articulation there and then you do get some pivot going on with that ankle so really good points of articulation the only thing lacking would be that thigh swivel but everything else on the jean gray figure is superior in terms of articulation to anything else um, in particular marvel legends because i think that's you know the most fair uh uh comparison uh, but when we look at other marvel Legend, other excuse me other mafex figures it's right in line with all the same points of articulation that we've kind of come to to know and expect uh from these figures so very good job by mafex Okay, so I want to show you guys how I how I replace the sash. So Mafex figures, they come apart sometimes. You know, sometimes on purpose you pull something apart. Um, and then other times they kind of come out when you really don't want them to. They don't break. They can easily snap. Not, not always easily, but they snap back together. So you can actually pull this figure apart in a couple of different parts. You can pull apart at the diaphragm or you can pull apart at the waist. So the first time that I did it, pulled it apart at the diaphragm and you couldn't quite get the sash over. Like if you stretched it, you would be able to, but you really want to pull it at the waist. So you need to really get a firm grip in there, kind of lean it back a little bit and then just kind of pull kind of pull and then you can pull that waist apart so you then you can remove the sash in there and then you could put kind of the relaxed uh straight 
like draping uh, sash on there. You can kind of fit it on there or you can put it, the torso over it and then you could just snap that body right back into place. Um, and there we go. So Jean Grey is uh, good as new. Uh, one thing I also want to mention, and I didn't mention this earlier, she does have a bit of a long neck. So just a heads up on that, like this head in particular um, looks higher. The, the hair flowing one doesn't look as bad in my opinion. That's kind of the better looking one. But the two other head sculpts, yeah, I do think that the head, uh, the neck is a little bit long and sits kind of high on there. Uh, but there we go. So fix that sash. That looks pretty good. I know sometimes it's scary pulling figures apart, but again, Mafex figures come apart and you can easily kind of put them back together. I mean, I've had, you know, arms come apart, elbows come apart, legs come apart, and again, they just snap back into place. Some are easier than others, like my MCU Iron Spider one uh, was very difficult to pop back together, but no issues here with Jean Grey. Nothing coming off that I didn't want it to. You just simply pull at that waist. You got to give it some force. If you're more comfortable, you can heat it up and that might help a little bit. But just pull on it. You're really not going to break it. And then you can switch out the sash. Okay, so here's some Mafex comic figure um, comparison. So here we have the X-Force Deadpool and the X-Force Wolverine. I do have a couple of different Spider-Mans. Like I got the Symbiote Spider-Man, Scarlet Spider. Um, and then I also have the classic Spider-Man. So if we throw, like, let's say Wolverine because he's short. Um, if we throw in kind of standard size uh, Spider-Man in there, you could see he's uh, just a tad bit taller um, then Jean Grey Phoenix, she's got very long legs. Um, as you can see, her legs are actually longer than Spider-Man's, uh, which is a bit crazy. Uh, Deadpool's a little bit taller, so her legs are about the same height as Deadpool's there. Um, so just kind of interesting. Um, I'm curious as to uh, some other Mafex figures. I think uh, Storm is still available on Big Bad Toy Store, and I think it may have been on sale. So I'll have to kind of take a look at that, see if I want, kind of want to expand. I know Rogue is on pre-order, and that's going to be um, a really good one. So you guys let me know down the comments below what do you think of the Mafex Marvel figures. I know recently revealed at an event in Hong Kong, I think it was. Uh, Jubilee's coming. Uh, Age of Apocalypse figures are coming. Uh, some, some pretty cool stuff. So you guys let me know what... Uh, what you think of the X-Men Mafex figures. But now, on to the Marvel Legends comparison. Okay, so here we have the Phoenix Force uh, Jean Grey Marvel Legends with the Mafex one there. Looking at the two side by side, I have to admit, um, the Mafex brighter green and the true gold look so much better than the Marvel Legends. Not that the Marvel Legends one looks bad, but the green... And the gold looks so much better on the Mafex figure, truly does. And then the logo being yellow as opposed to gold, it kind of switches it up a little bit. But the Mafex, the body looks so much better, but I like the head sculpts of the Marvel Legends a little bit more. Um, she looks very, very pale on the Mafex ones, and that seems to, I think that tends to be the case with the Mafex figures. Um, there, and then the articulation is better on. Uh, the the Mafex figure for sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if the Mafex figure can work with that uh, Phoenix Force accessory. Okay, so there we go. So it's not as easy to kind of get her to balance on the Phoenix Force um, stand accessory piece, uh, but you can do it. Like you can get, you know, the foot slides in there a little too easily. As you can see, it's very loose, but you got to strategically place her right foot somewhere on there to help her balance. And you can do that and it looks pretty good. And the thing about it is the bright green just looks so much better. Like the Marvel Legends, I really like that figure and I thought it was great, but you know, not having a brighter green figure to compare it with and seeing the dark green, like you look at it and you're like, oh yeah, man, if it was bright green, how much better could it have been? So this one's going to basically boil down to like, what's going to be your preference in terms of your Jean Grey? Like, is is it the bright green um, or is it simply what's going to work with your collection, right? If you have Mafex figures, you're obviously going to want to go with the Mafex. If you mix it up and, and everything, no matter what scale or anything like that, maybe the Marvel Legends is going to work for you. But depending on your look and what you want to do, it's going to determine which figure that you're going to get. You know, the, the Mafex figure is quite a bit more expensive. It's double the price. You know, so is it worth it? It's going to vary on everybody. Like, if you collect Mafex figures, Mafex figures are your thing. You have the rest of the X-Men, you're going to want to get this one. You know, I don't think you're going to want to put the Marvel Legends one in there. And I'll do the side-by-side, -side, you know, standing comparison so you can see the height difference. But 
you know, I think that's going to be a determining factor. You know, what's going to really fit in. Mafex will fit in with Mafex. I don't think the Legends will fit in with Mafex. The Mafex could potentially fit in with Legends depending on what you do. Like, if you do something like this, it'll blend in nicely. Nobody has to worry about the height kind of thing. So there's that there. But you guys let me know your thoughts on that. Now let's go ahead and see the standing side-by-side -side comparison. So it turns out, height-wise, there's not a big difference. Yes, the Marvel Legends is taller. Not by a lot. Not by a lot at all. But the thing about it is, is the Mafex has a really long neck that helps it. The hair sticks up a little bit that also helps the height. But if you look eye to eye, they're not really eye to eye as you can see there. But technically the Marvel Legends is slightly taller. And then also the Mafex has somewhat of heels in those boots. Whereas the Marvel Legends has some flat feet. So um, a little bit of difference um, in there. Earlier I had talked about like the crunch on the, the Mafex figure and everything like that. I'd keep forgetting that this is the super articulated body. So getting like Jean Grey, Phoenix, the Marvel Legends to kind of crunch forward. That's as far as she'll go. The Mafex figure... Hold on, I'm trying to do it without using the hips getting involved. Does come forward um, a little bit more, as you can see there. But the butterfly joints are uh, more effective on the Marvel Legends uh, than the Mafex. But overall, still think Mafex uh, wins in terms of the articulation. I think um, it also gives it a very clean look, like there's no gaps or anything like that, um, which is quite nice. The sash really covers up the, uh, the the waist there. We get the inverted ab crunch, which is fine, but the, the, the torso gets very narrow. It does on the Mafex figure too, but I think on the Marvel Legends, um, it's 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 a little a little bit less proportionate to the rest of the body if that makes sense the mafex i think still has the same issue but it's just to me it doesn't look as bad for some reason um maybe that's just per personal preference um that type of thing but i like that we get sculpted boots on the mafex figure whereas the marvel legends again it was just painted and people debate you know whether it's just a design of a bodysuit or if it should in fact be boots um the mafex one clearly shows and makes it boots uh, but you guys let me know down in the comments below which of the two do you like more, Mafex or Marvel Legends. Okay, so that is my review of the Mafex Jean Grey Phoenix figure. You guys let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this figure? How do you think it compares to the Marvel Legends? Which is your preference? The Marvel Legends is not yet available in the U.S. It is still available um, at BigBadToyStore.com. So link in the video description below to that one. But more importantly, the Mafex Phoenix figure is in stock at BigBadToyStore.com right now. So link in the video description below. If you would like to order it, make sure to, to get that order in before it sells out. Um, I think it's a very good one but I can easily see people wanting to go with the Marvel Legends as again it is half the price uh, but the Mafex one it does depending on your collection will fit in certain spots and kind of here and there the articulation on it is fantastic the paint uh, applications are perfect solid figure for sure just you guys let me know what your preference there is and I know a lot of people are going to lean towards the Mafex which is okay because the, uh, the import figures there's some good quality there there's some good articulation there and in this case there is some good paint work not every Mafex figure has good paint applications uh, but luckily I've been fortunate enough that mine haven't had any issues uh, but you guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys think um, if you guys like the video please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already done so as always thank you for watching again make sure to go to bigbadtoystore.com for all your action figure needs